Hey guys, so here we are with Buffy Season 3, Episode 14, and in the last episode, it was a Xander episode, um, so the whole episode was, like, from his perspective on, um, just what he's going through, and, um, it was very, it was a very different episode, it was very weird, not in a bad way, um, I, I wouldn't say that that would be one of my favorite episodes. Um, it was definitely interesting. I liked it. Um, it's just not one of my favorites. So I, I like Xander as a character. I think he brings a lot to the show. Um, I don't know. Just wasn't one of my favorites. I don't really know how else to explain it. Um, I think, I think, you know what, I don't think it's necessarily a Xander thing of why I didn't like it. I think I just got irritated by everyone else underestimating him. Um, and I think for a while, like, he, a lot especially, well, you know what, in this series in general, I was going to say uh, in this season he's been underestimated a lot, but just in this show he's been underestimated a lot. And I don't, and I think it's just because he doesn't necessarily have anything to go for him like even willow has the fact that she's into witchcraft so she has something to bring to the table and i get that xander doesn't really have anything to bring to the table um except for like jokes and and stuff like that or being silly and being a little entertaining he doesn't really other than that doesn't bring anything else to the table so um i think just the fact that they were underestimating him kind of annoyed me a little bit. Um, so I, I, I think if the episode was more so from Xander's perspective and they didn't really underestimate him, then maybe I would have ended up liking the episode. Um, and I, I think that's what it is, honestly. So, And I get that the whole point of that episode was because he is being underestimated and that was his um, perspective on the like being victimized by that. And then just what he typically has to go through maybe not that specifically obviously like he doesn't deal with the undead all the time uh, well I guess, I guess technically he does but you know what I mean I think um anyway yeah so I hope that we do get more episodes like that but maybe um not so much the underestimating aspect of it because I kind of got on my nerves um anyway yeah uh, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. I'm serious, never ever. Never what? Come on, really? All this time and not even one? How many times Is she talking about Xander? I've never done it with Xander. Yep. So, what are friends for? I mean, I'm sorry, it's just fucking a sweaty nightly <laughs> side by side action you never put in for a little after hours. Uh, thanks for Ew. the poetry. And now, I love Xander, I just don't love, love Xander. him. Why are they dressed like that? Like medieval ish? Are they into like the Renaissance thing or something? They didn't seem local. Look, why don't we grab the weapons? Maybe Giles. Oh. Check Someone these out. The weapons. We've got the dedication coming up in a few days. We certainly can't have anything interfering with that. Well, maybe we should dedication. postpone the, the, the dedication. I believe the Honorable Mayor hates that idea. Uh oh. After the hundred days. I'll be on a higher plane. And I'll have no more need for, well, let's just say I won't be concerned with the little things. So Everyone he wipes his hands before he touches me. the weapons. <laughs> I'm surprised he doesn't wipe his hands after he touches the weapons. I can't pronounce it. Is anyone else intimidated? Because I'm just expecting thin slips of paper with oh, the words no way written in crayon. Who uh, incidentally won't be needing a higher education when she markets her own very successful line of hooker wear. Well, Xander, I could dress more like you, but oh, my father has a job. Oh, damn. I'm not gonna waste the perfect comeback on you now, but don't think I don't have it. Oh yes, uh -huh. it's time sure. will come. 
Of course, training procedures have been updated quite a bit since your day. Much greater Is that emphasis the new on field work. Really? Oh, yes. Not all books oh, hey, and theory nowadays. You're in no danger of finding those here. Vampire? Alison Hannigan's husband. Short circumstances. Hello, Buffy. I don't want to bore you with details. A little bit late. Named Gleaves. Mm. It was buried with him, and I believe the few remaining Illuminati are probably looking for it. For sentimental value. And you don't think that this uh, sure. amulet poses Sure, sentimental value. Oh, no, not at all. New washer? New, New washer. washer. <laughs> Screw that. Now, why didn't I just say that? Buffy, <laughs> could you... Uh... I'll see if I can get her back. My thing is, is like, why don't they take the same sort of seriousness with Faith that they do Buffy? Is it because technically she is the current Slayer? I mean, they're both Slayers, though, you know? What's the mayor's name again? I mean, obviously, I don't think his last name would be, like, that obvious. Because then they would probably figure it out like that, but... Maybe if at some point his name got changed or something. That happens a lot. One of them's gonna be a vampire or something. Game over. Did she take it? How did she do that? Why wouldn't she take it? Oh, shit. Faith, what are you doing, hiding in there? Looking for the amulet. I don't know how many's down there, but I want to find out. And I'll know when I land. If you don't come in after me, I might die. She's gonna get them into some serious trouble or something at some point. <laughs> Why didn't she give her a heads up? She saw that someone was behind her. Just settle it. She gonna drown again? V, gotta go. We can get the ambulance first. The only thing you need to discuss with Mr. Giles is overdue book fees. Understood? We'll talk. Of course. I don't understand, like, why she takes orders from this guy. I know. I feel just sick about it. I mean, really, why she takes orders in general. How come your eye twitches every time I say Faith's name? What? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Cut it out. We got a test to take, okay? And I'm highly caffeinated, and I'm trying to concentrate. Some of us actually care about school. <laughs> Not talking about him. No, she, she can't. You, you can't, can you? Uh, bad influence. Although I totally get, like, the point of, like, like, faith. I mean, I get it because, like, I'm, I think, like, her, too, because it's, like, why are you taking orders from them? Because it's, it's not like she's getting paid for it. I mean, that would be one thing, but she's not. She doesn't get anything in return. I have a will to establish that if you're going to go and slay, you leave me a number where I can contact you. Where's the amulet? Who are you? A friend. Do you have it? It's oh, somewhere she's safe. got a cut on her arm. Balthazar is dead. Am I the only one that remembers that? Be careful. You know yeah, me? Probably not. I mean it. What's going on? Poor dude. He has no idea what he stepped into. Ew, the sound I effects. Yeah. And the pitiful look 
of faces that cry out for mercy. Vincent, come here. Uh oh. <laughs> come give me a raspberry. Seriously, what did it look like you did to that one guy? Killed him by raspberry. Let me tell you what I want to see. Ugh, this guy is like one of the grossest ones. Half. She is very easily manipulated, Buffy is. I've noticed that. Who came up behind him? It looked like somebody came up behind him. Oh, yep, cops. Drop the weapons and get down on the ground. Now! That's what happens. You can't save the world in jail. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but they're just gonna, uh, they're just gonna get in even more trouble. Yeah, she doesn't think about shit before she does it. Lock him up. You wake up, he's just gonna try to kill you again. Mm -hmm. Yes! Is yes, the mayor I, something I supernatural? Or is he just annoying and an asshole? Man to man as befits a true warrior. What are they putting all over his body? He had Ugh. courage. But there's a but. And that's but you shouldn't come tonight. Is that cool? Well, sure. If she's it already regretting the things that she's done, why does she? Why is she continuing? Because I'm your friend. I know. Well, that's exactly why I don't want you going. It's it's too dangerous. But or she doesn't I, want her to see her doing before, things that like she regrets. Like a million times, and I can totally handle myself. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yep, wasn't a vampire. Don't move. I, I, need, I need something to stop the... Oh, well, he's dead. That's the mayor's assistant. Was it gonna end up healing or something? she just left. God, the sound Move effects. Front. Ugh. Front. Can't Watch get over it. Doesn't seem too promising, does it? Just stay calm, Mr. Charles. Yeah, stay. telling him to oh stay God, calm. To panic. What is that thing? What happens if he doesn't get, like, moistened, like, non-stop? Does he, like, wither up and die? I wonder what that sword is, because it ended up killing him. Is he talking about the mayor? Or I guess whoever the mayor is working for? Man, the visual effects. <laughs> Gosh, I'm feeling chipper. <laughs> Who's for a root beer? He's fucking crazy, man. <laughs> Faith, we need to talk about what we're gonna do. It's nothing to talk about. I was doing my job. Not by killing a human. Being a slayer is not the same as being a killer. 
Faith, you can shut off all the emotions that you want, but eventually they're like going to find her, a body. her, like, dummy. Faith, you don't get it. You killed a man. No, you don't get it. I don't care. Yes, yeah, she does. That was a weird spot for it to end. I was not prepared for that. She does care, though. She cares that she killed someone. It's just, I guess she's going to go through denial first. I don't know. That guy was gross, though. I mean, come on. That was probably the grossest looking one that we've had so far. Ugh. And then, I guess, I don't know if the mayor is the one, like, that they were talking about, or if he just works for the one. I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.